Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is November 9th, 2021. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show green room, great room navigator. I'm making emotes explode on my face. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Great Night pre-show with the green room. Coming up, we got a great show for you. A great night of a show. That's not a uh, Jomo's gonna Jomo's here. He's gonna be in the green room and he's gonna be playing some music later on uh, We've got a game from uh, one of you lovely people which reminds me that I need to find their name Joe I need to remember Joe's name because Joe sent him a game And then uh, we've got some great stories tonight. Oh my god. I'm going to be sharing some some slightly racy pics I, was, I have some slightly racy pics, but they're they're censored. They'll be fine they're pretty racy so uh that's pretty fun we've got a lot of good stories coming up all sorts of good stuff but you know what we need you know what really it's it's really it's time for us to get into the green room all right well it's time for us to go to the green room here green room are you able to hear me yeah, oh I my god we're so high i can hear you loud and yeah. clear uh, we're high because we're in orbit uh, yes. around yeah. Space Station Great Nights. Oh, oh and good. And heroin. And also, I'm <laughs> fucking heroin. baked. Heroin. Uh, yes. Heroin. <laughs> I it's baked my, heroin. We are on baked heroin. <laughs> yes. That's baked. It's twice that's baked, the best. Twice baked Fri heroin. Uh, fried heroin's so bad for you. Yes. Oh, my God. Jesus. But browned heroin? It, it, is, it isn't the 80s anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we are nobody's, only fucking with twice honey-baked heroin. Yes. <laughs> uh, there, there, there was somebody in the random, you know, fire hose of Twitter. I just see this tweet that says, "I have received twenty thousand samples of drugs through my uh, Dropbox. I am the world's greatest drug receiver." That's cool. And I was like, "The fuck is this happening?" Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the dude. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's what freedrugtesting.com or something like that. But it's like he's got a place in Vancouver, Canada, where it's like straight up, like uh, his stated mission is uh we have a problem with everything being cut with fentanyl <laughs> and invited so he has to test all of it uh, correct so so basically he provides the service totally anonymous you buy some whatever and then they uh, uh they take a little bit of it they put it in a spectrometer and then they say they say this is 100 percent heroin cocaine and they send it back all to you. those all those things i ended up watching like uh like a, a, a 10 minute vice video about it and now it, do you send him all of it because why couldn't you couldn't you send him a little yeah i think that's the idea <laughs> <laughs> that seems shady Cause, right cause, he just needs a like, little <laughs> bit to test it but right? you gotta send him all your uh, drugs you send him all the drugs you'd be cool to send it back right but, but i'll send it back to you I'll have a return we're good, we're good. receipt. It's anonymous. I'll have a return shipping label. Yeah. Yeah. Having just... said all of that, like, like they showed the tech uh, cutting off a piece, doing the spectrometer, then mixing it with a little bit with liquid and putting a fentanyl strip in there to find out if there's any fentanyl in there. And then, like, uh, they were like, Looks to me like there's a little left over. And she's like, for example, this is 100% pure heroin. And, I, and then, like, if I'm the cameraman, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. The, 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 so the, the fucking office theme starts like do, 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 do. you get Jim. <laughs> uh, no, but it was fascinating, and and uh, I, I I think so. This is a place in Vancouver. Yeah, Van uh, where exactly? That seems like a shitty place to run this. Also, the international shipping, right? You got to mail yeah, stuff over. Yeah. Well, you I put think that you... shit in the port of Miami. You're doing business, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I I think it has something to do with the relaxed restrictions about ah. drug use up uh, there. Yeah. Uh, and the, but 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 basically, he couched it as harm reduction. And man, uh, twenty thousand tests. You gotta you gotta you gotta think he he literally saved some mf and lives oh, yeah. right yeah, for sure for sure anyway i'm gonna also, go to vancouver are, <laughs> anyway. so we're going to vancouver <laughs> those and... are very very judicious drug dealers that are like uh uh well uh, we just got all this heroin in uh well we can't sell it yet doug <laughs> because we, we've yet to get our test back from the anonymous drug test. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the dealers. It's all the users. So it's like they get it from the hippie at, 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 at the guava joint. Then and that then... is some intense discipline for drug use. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, who's like, I need to do this heroin. 
But first, well, but first, uh, like for example, <laughs> was it there was one there was one that was like ecstasy, and they're all like, "Yeah, this is rock salt." <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing in this. The name of the company is it's cool. <laughs> is this cool? <laughs> Pretty much, but but yeah, they they uh, I don't know. It's uh, watch the the Vice video. It, it I mean. You definitely get to watch somebody shoot up with heroin several times. Oh, yeah. I'm in. Nice. I'm in. I, I feel like it's good. Thank it's, you, Bear. It's good that we got back to the good stuff on television. Yeah. yeah. You guys do know that Bear made heroin, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they made it. They, they invented it. it. Yeah. It, yeah. It, was, it was a commercially available product. And yeah. Was it called heroin? Yeah. That's right. As really? a matter of fact, uh, if, I mean, it's an, opi- uh, an, an, uh, an opiate uh, derived from morphine, and they called it heroin branding. Uh, really? For its heroic, uh, some corporate guy, yes. some team got together and said, "Let's call it heroin." <laughs> yes, oh, yes. yes. A corporate memo about yes, that. Yes, that's a real thing. That wow. speaking of fucking major rebrands in, in <laughs> drug usage, do you know that like ketamine is now like, like a le- mental health? Yes, yes. Like le- no. legal. You can go down to the ketamine uh, treatment shop and be all like, "Yeah, I'm- I've been being Instagram advertised." Ketamine really? for months now. Yeah, it's like Mind Bloom or something like that. Yeah, but they, for whatever reason, really? I've fallen into the algorithm of a guy that would buy ketamine, which <laughs> guilty as charged. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, but but yeah, what the fuck? Like that was like like there were like techno songs made about fucking getting stuck in K holes, and now yeah. it's yeah. like a legal oh, thing to do. Yeah, I, I I I recognize you, fellow fan of the Chemical Brothers. Yes, <laughs> stuck in yes. the K hole. Yes, <laughs> uh, uh, and as a matter of fact. I think it was today a Texas judge ruled that that Delta Eight yeah, I saw that. get you well, crazy that's high a, shit is that's legal a, the, yeah, for now. It was legal. Yeah, right. It and was then legal. It was going to be not legal. It was like yeah. and now it's and it was always in a weird gray yeah. area where it's like it didn't it really make sense to me? It's I like tried it's, it. Go back and get more diet weed. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was diet weed. Diet weed. Yeah, I didn't. I, I can tell you this. I didn't fucking pass out like I did. Mm. So is it better? Uh, pain feels like cold. That's what. That's my. Experience. Why were you feeling pain? Yeah, I was what about to say? Is that, is because that, I'm ne- you were dedicated to this. Five there. years old, and I have a bad <laughs> neck. Oh, I thought you were like like Test, uh, f- five rounds deep with Balboa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought you were like pain this feels like cold. <laughs> this, feels, this feels pretty fucking good, but how's it do with pain? See, well, I, pain, pain, was weak. Pain, is, pain is weakness exiting the body. <laughs> I, I try. If it smokes, it smokes. It smokes. I mean, I I tried some of it, and my wife suddenly showed up, and she goes, "Let's begin." I'm like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> so so you so normally if because you're not a big weed smoker in general no, no but 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 you said that the pain that you would normally feel felt just like you were cold yeah like in the that like if my neck is hurting it felt cold like, like what, really what temperature does guilt feel like <laughs> i'll let you know whenever i feel that <laughs> jealous room temperature guilt <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I, I saw the headline on the Austin subreddit, and so I, I always scroll through the comments because Austin, you know, it's like the, like knowing that these are our neighbors yeah. makes yeah. me really appreciate the comments. It's better more. than next door. The the third top of voted comment was. They say the Delta 88 is legal, but I can't find an Oldsmobile dealership <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I, was, nice. I was proud that it was that high. Yeah. In the, in the Everybody's like, I, yes. Respect. I mentioned seeing a story to my wife, and she goes, she, it, it took her like a few minutes, and she goes, Jesus, I thought you were talking about the coronavirus because there's all these <laughs> variants. I was like, we're now at Delta 80, Delta we 8. We're on like, Delta we're, 8. <laughs> Declaring it legal. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so that keeps changing. Imagine the exactly. lawyer defending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yo, honor. I'm a simple southern lawyer. <laughs> I know. But when I went to, <laughs> to Wuhan, he's like, like the fucking public defender that yeah. gets assigned defending Delta 8. Yeah. Delta 8 variant <laughs> yeah. is legal. The, now, we can all agree <laughs> that my client is a monster. Yeah. <laughs> the question is whether or not it's illegal. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'm sorry, officer. There's nothing in the rule book that says the coronavirus can't play basketball. <laughs> imagine, imagine growing up, finding out that your parents, their parents, their parents before them, uh, they're all the way back to some kind of uh, lab leak slash bat <laughs> wet market. <laughs> and you've been told your whole life you'll never amount to a hill of beans. <laughs> and then you develop a... a a, a new strain. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Go. No, I, 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 got, I got nothing. I done, I, I done real good for like ten uh, whole minutes. Yeah, and then I'm out of stories. That was pretty good. Uh, so would you do uh, uh, recreational ketamine? Uh, if it would make your mind bloom. The, uh, is it legal recreationally? Well, no. Yeah. Well, well. It, or it, no, I think you have to get a thing. You have to go to a you strip have ball. A, you gotta have a problem. <laughs> well, yeah. You have to say uh, you have but to have like PTSD. Like, they're, they're, trying to, like, they're trying to solve like <laughs> you don't, you depression. Know, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's like depression and focusing. So it's like it's some shit that everybody right. can be like. Like, have you but ever you have been to have distracted? A, but do you have to have a doctor's writ? I think this is what they sell you. Like you talk to a doctor and you say the doctor says hey do you have a problem uh, being distracted and you're like you're yeah what? <laughs> and you yeah, go yeah. what and then what they were we go, talking about here's some ketamine boy ah uh, okay. uh, well, okay. well, from what i understand uh i don't know man the more i read about uh like uh hallucinogen research and stuff like bryce like, is apparently fucking uh, uh, talking about ketamine bryce just run in here and yell about ketamine yeah if you, if you want it <laughs> all right uh, ladies and gentlemen, live from the green room, a great night in the middle of the Seven Acre hey! Shrine. Let's hear it for Ketamine Brock. <laughs> he jumped really, really high. So, the uh, Ketamine Kid. I, <laughs> yeah, I almost, I was the almost crazy Ketamine Kid. <laughs> I was almost. K. I was recently almost referred <laughs> to one of these ketamine uh, yeah. clinics. Wasn't supposed to, but I almost was. Okay. <laughs> so you're so like, what is the process? You, you need a doctor to prescribe it to you. I okay. mean, it's serious. It's it's similar to like getting Adderall. You have to, is they don't just give that out. They they have to like really diagnose you with. Uh, where are we where are we on the line if they don't just give that out? I I can tell you that they do not just give it out. Really? <laughs> you got rejected for Adderall? I, I was rejected treatment for ADHD no like kidding. two weeks ago. Really? Part, partly because they're like, yeah, you also have depression, so we kind of can't do both of these at the same time. Got <laughs> it. So, oh. yeah. uh, you were trying to one-stop shop it. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You try to order the combo platter? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but. What you need. It's exactly. You but, yeah. It. Two pieces of biscuit. You you mentioned that. <laughs> you saw, like, the You're like, of, listen, I want no <laughs> Mayonnaise on my Adderall. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. Oh, and, and all the bell peppers. Uh, <laughs> Wait, that's too specific. Exactly. Uh, but so you mentioned you saw an Instagram ad for that. Yes. That uh, the there's like a similar thing for ADHD meds. That's the thing that I had tried. Okay. Uh, but it's clearly like if you go in and you say the right things, they will give it yeah. to you. Yes. But. I was but you not, actually wanted to I create wanted difficulties you're having. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's your problem. That, see, that's, that's, uh, that's where you went but sideways. See, that's the thing. Is like, that's like when you when I got my medical weed license in California, mm. and there's like there's one moment where they take it seriously. It's when you talk to the doctor. Right. Like the doctor was very serious and Asian, and he was like, <laughs> uh, uh, he was just like, he, 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 he had a very he had a stood. He had a stood because had a pad, and this motherfucker had a pen, yes. like a costume. But <laughs> he was, Dr. Yeah. Greenway, but he, he was like, shoes. <laughs> but he was very, he was like, like, uh, mm, mm, and he's like, so like, what is your problem? Mm. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I get real nervous, and boy, do I, I travel a lot, so I need to go to sleep, and. Yeah. And uh, man, I could eat more. Like I could really stand to eat more food sometimes. Not and hungry enough. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I get, you know, I, I really feel like I should be more suspicious of things. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I really wish that I could wonder what people are thinking about me at this very moment. <laughs> exactly. And I'd like to order more pizzas. I feel yeah. like, you know. Uh, also, is it just me or is, does time move too fast? <laughs> yeah. I, I really need like, to know how it's like made. It's just, oh, yeah. It's, uh, and I'd I actually like to forget <laughs> one my sentence right in the middle of yeah, speaking. Exactly. I mean, I've been turning in all my assignments <laughs> on time, and it's like my, my boss said, I really need you to lower those stats. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force and didn't laugh once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I shit. I mean, like, like, I was gonna go to class. But I don't know yeah. what else. I don't know what else. I don't know what else. I need to finish that excuse. I need to finish that excuse. So, uh, so, uh, uh, and then he's like, he's like, uh huh. Yes, I'm. Mm. I have a prescription for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just weed and crayon. <laughs> <laughs> this is like <laughs> 10 years ago. It's purple it's, yeah, crayon. purple crayon. Instead yeah. of a signature, it's a, like a, a c- congratulations sticker. It's yeah. Like a it's a little star. He hands Justin the recipe. Recipe me the prescription. <laughs> and, Justin, and Justin says, what's Ivermectrin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, you have to be a little like... Uh, uh, I don't mm. know. California at that point, it, it had been so fucking. The horse had been so far out of the barn that they were like, you know, the, like the dudes on Venice Beach flipping the, you know, the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a dude in like a, 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 a bathing suit and like literal ripped sleeve like a uh, uh, lab coat. Lab coat. <laughs> and he's like, the doctor's in, bro. Like, like he's not like. So what's your hypertension like? Like right. that that dude isn't gonna take it all that seriously. But I guess with some of this shit, they just can't. I mean, if some cop rolls in, and is like. Yeah, You're just dealing ketamine to kids. Yeah, what, it's what, very, well, and, it's and very there intense. are there are experimental. Tr- uh, I I think um, for PTSD, what's the uh, uh, MDMA is getting mm-hmm. it, fi- like 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 they had made a lot of progress in the '80s with it as a. Uh, uh, therapeutic uh, for all kinds of things, um, and then uh, it, it got schedule schedule C, schedule C, one schedule one or, schedule or two? whatever it was. Yeah, the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the bad schedule. Uh, and then, but but it's but, time to go to jail. Right, but the it? FDA just <laughs> finally started actually uh, doing that stuff again. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, man, uh, uh, yeah, legalize all drugs except for fentanyl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, because I, you robbed me of Humpty Hump, motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but I, 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 I do the Delta Eight stuff yeah. too, uh, and so I'm glad. What's the mileage that. on that? It's <laughs> about 150,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good condition. Pretty good condition. Did you, uh, get, did you get worried? Did you get worried the last few weeks? They were, they were like, "It's you're a criminal," so and now I, you're not a criminal. So was, let, 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 yeah. let's reset this. Sure. So Delta Eight was legal federally. Yeah, it was made right. legal federally. And in most states, the way the laws were written, it was also legal. Yes. Yeah, because of how they classified weed. So. Texas then took the extra step to be like, what the fuck? Weed's legal? Like, we got to step on that shit. And th- that was a Texas state thing that that made it illegal briefly, right? Yeah, the health – some part of the health department put out a bulletin saying, no, actually, it's illegal. And so all of this kerfuffle is because just that agency said it without – Telling anybody, yeah, gotcha. and so it's available again because they've got an injunction. This is very um, similar to the uh, opening explanation for the far out space nuts, where they yes. confused lunch and launch, and then they went to space. That's right. With Don, I, I think I think uh, Texas, b- besides the things that it should be embarrassed about, that Oklahoma mm-hmm. and Arkansas have legal weed. And we don't. That, I, I feel like that should be made more of a big deal. Like, there should be more, like, there should be a billboard campaign saying, like, seriously, fucking Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. and Arkansas. Like, Come like, on. You really are getting your shit run around yeah. by Oklahoma and Arkansas? <laughs> Dude, straight no, on that's, Texas. That's, that's, that's straight that's, on that's Texas. That's the way, like, like if you're going to, if, if Normal's going to buy a bunch of billboards in Austin, you don't say, well, weed should be legal. It's yeah. just like, Oklahomans have free weed. Yeah. Or legal weed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and here you are having, having no weed, weed like an asshole. You don't need yeah. to have diet weed. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Broken Arrow has weed. Yeah. yeah. Austin uh, doesn't. Come on. Yeah. And so. Yes, we're, we're my, trying to leapfrog my... them. We're like, yeah, fuck you. We got ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> well, so people are saying that ketamine is scheduled too. Oh, I see. Okay. So ketamine, I guess, is easier to get your hands on <laughs> than weed. All I know is that it got like a glossy write up in some fancy newspaper or magazine or something about like, it's the new thing that's helping people. And then I'm like reading through it and it's like, it's called ketamine. It's like, <laughs> motherfucker, like, who got a new goddamn PR agent? Like, yeah. This is the, this has been the biggest glow up since they fucking started calling or stopped calling it ecstasy and started calling it MDMA. Mm. Yeah, oh, is that I mean, MDMA? 
Yeah. 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 No, and then That's everybody right. will be like, well, no, ecstasy was a bunch of other shit, and MDMA is pure. Fuck, anybody knew what the fuck was in ecstasy when they were taking it in the 90s. You and like, know, you know, if know you were what in fucking... Vancouver, you would have gotten it tested. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And like, anybody fucking knows what is in MDMA when they take it now. Like, it's yeah. all the same fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. You just uh, want to hug people. Yeah. No, no, they call it Molly. Molly. It's Molly. Like, oh, Molly. Molly's pure MDMA. Motherfucker, you don't know then, and they didn't know. They didn't know then. You don't know now. Ecstasy just got the great rebrand. Although ketamine apparently went legit. So look at them. I mean, now you can buy <laughs> ketamine. Beer before became a cop. Know. Fuck you, narc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you can. Uh, did, did, can't you buy beer before noon now on Sundays? Yes. Here in Texas. Oh, like, wait, you can? wine and beer. The wine mm. and beer. Yeah. The, like. That's that's a as of that's as of when that. really? it has to be recently it has to be yeah. really recently. Recent. I got I got rejected by an, uh, uh, certainly like two. I three got ago. rejected two days ago. <laughs> oh, schedule three. Oh, oh that man, that's barely. Shit, uh, I'm, I'm surprised they don't carry it. Caffeine, Graceland. man. Yeah. <laughs> you put that a vending machine. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you should. Uh, yeah, can I get a ketamine dropper in that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I have a story, to sh- a s- small story to share. Go. Yes. Um, so uh, I had some friends in town this weekend. We got up to a bunch of stuff. I'll talk about it a little bit on the show. Yeah. But one of the really cool things we did is we went to... Ketamine. T- <laughs> we, went to we went to Ketamine. Yeah. Ketamine, ketamine Texas. <laughs> just outside of Lubbock. <laughs> yep. Uh, we went to the new Tiki Tatsuya. Yes. Please tell me. So uh, it's a tiki bar from the people who do ramen Tatsuya. Yes. Which is this very, like... Good the best authentic ramen, ramen in, in Austin. Mm-hmm. And it's this small little bar, but it's it's built up like a theme park. Like the like food at a theme park. Like there's there's props and lights and sounds everywhere. Uh it was it was very cool. We were at the captain's table and they, they play like sea noises while you're while you're eating and then they like sometimes lightning storms will happen and all the lights will go in and then uh, it was very cool. It's, it sounds a bit like the uh, uh, Trader Sam's yeah, tra- yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. At, at, at Disney. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Which is not bad, but let me just just throwing this out here. Mm. Uh, what if it was more like a strip club? You had a DJ up there <laughs> playing like <laughs> two minute cuts. Of, we got the uh, latest <laughs> Foghorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak. Take it up the main stage. Coming up the back side. Come on, fries. <laughs> <laughs> let's get all the ladies on the floor. <laughs> 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 Uh, so wait, so where is but this place? Uh, it's right next to Ramen Tatsuya on South Lamar. South oh. Lamar. Yeah, it's like b- right behind it. It's it's not very big, but it's uh, it's called the outside of it looks like a travel agency. Neat. And so you you check in outside on the back. And so they we let need to go. In. We just need to go. It's not. Ni- it's pretty nice. So yeah. that's that's not far from me then on South Lamar. Uh, right? No, it is uh, in in the area. Uh, yeah, holy shit. Kamuri yes. Tatsuya. So, uh, sorry. So, have you been to Kamuri Tatsuya? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. No, it's the bomb. Yeah, okay. that's the one that's it's like Japanese steakhouse. Steakhouse and, and steakhouse steak. weirdly merged. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, it's the same thing, but they put a fried egg on the steak. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> oh shit! I always, I always buy fucking <laughs> walking beers from that Exxon. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one of my that's one of my prime walking beer yeah. fucking spots. <laughs> I love the fact that he describes one of the greatest culinary experiences he's had, and you're like, I buy beer at that gas station. <laughs> I also buy cigars. Doing the uh, walking cigars. Doing the. Uh, yeah. When you're retired, are you going to be at the mall, like with the walking beers and <laughs> the cigars? Yeah. And, like, oh, the dude. I, I'm going to have the hat. The I'm really hoping hat. I get stopped by a cop. It, like, it really is like a hope that I for have. A, for an open oh, container. For an open so, container. So, so, so I really, I want to, I want to go plead for this. P- plead the Florida defense. Yeah. Well, I want to make a, I want to make a stand. I want to, I want to challenge <laughs> the legality take it to the Supreme of Court. open container let's, laws. Let's, 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 let's role play it. Role play it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. All right. You guys role play Hey, listen, man. This is great. Hold on. I know you're going to, okay. Look. Walking. Hey, hey, congrats on season two of World's Greatest Comedy. 
on, sure, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> right, so we're both walking. Yeah. Well, well, right. well. Actually, oh shit, I gotta go. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like no, I think like, just Brian. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, Brian, of, a yeah. be, of a beard yeah. jogger. Yeah. Yeah. you're like okay, oh, bye, bye, just, no, bye. Okay, there we go. Walking, 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 Yo, you walking, got an academy? Yeah. All right, so here. The, hey, uh, Rip. Yeah. Rip, uh, Rip. Oh, hi, hi, officer. The worst police sirens. Hey, ever um, <laughs> let me get down. Let me get down off my horse. Are, <laughs> That's, that horse, wow. that, has, that has a strange whinny, officer. Hello, dispatch. Yeah, no, I, I, so, so this helped, right? I made the community safer. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, 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 thank you for dismissing the ticket. Okay, bye, all right. <laughs> Sorry. I've been feeding my horse ketamine. Oh, <laughs> Is that it's, what it makes? Is that the noise it makes? Yeah, yeah when, when it's you on ketamine. Your horse ketamine. It's a weird reaction. It uh, was a horse tranquilizer. You know that um, ketamine. open ketamine containers ketamine. are either legal or not legal. Yeah. Based on something I'm not aware of. What's that? But it's the state law that they are either are they illegal in Austin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. You're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back on this horse. Oh, I, 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 I come, I come running. Justin wins again. <laughs> I come Freeze running. frame, rainbow behind me as I leap six feet in the air. I, I, I run back and I'm like, oh man, total bummer that you got fucking cracked on that open container. I bet they gave you a big old hefty fine. Nope. Slurp. Nobody knows if it's legal or not, and I'll exploit it. <laughs> what? I have to make a phone call. <laughs> Uh, okay, I gotta get back. Ten minutes. All right, ten okay. minutes. All right. Uh, well, that was initially it was a lot easier to uh, feel secure in it because there were homeless people all over the place, yeah. and I figured that like no, as long as I'm moving, yeah. yeah, like no one's calling don't the lay cops down. on me. Just don't lay down. You'll be yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. You got the uh, the third grader defense of like they're doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of, of whatever. Yeah, I just figured like I'm 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 the least of their worries. I'm so just, I'm just trying to get my fucking steps in. So are there parts of Austin where it's legal and some parts where it's not, or what? What is Pri it? I don't know. Private property, which okay. is why like you go out to Jester King, you can walk around with pints because that's all private property. Right. But, yeah. but outside of that, uh, open containers appear to be well. Yeah, can you walk yeah. around on Sixth Street with it? No. Yeah, you can. not uh, No. Yeah, yeah, not outside of like the. You you get 36. you can't get like a, a maybe during it's not like, Louisiana. Like, That's during a Louisiana. festival that becomes yeah. like magical. They close uh, the streets. Uh, Switzerland grace yes. period. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, in the sky, I'm pretty sure you're good. <laughs> right. If you're yeah. not touching the ground. <laughs> If you're floating, if you're doing the David well, Copperfield if, yeah. thing, if you do one foot, you have to. It's like yeah, you gotta hop. You have to leave one foot on the ground, and then the rest, then you can drink. Is that it? That, I think. That, also, if you're touching blue to make it true. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I, I believe in Texas the law, and I believe this is one of the things they told us when we went out on the boat on Lake Travis. They, they're all like, uh, "BAC is the same. You can't be drunk while you're driving, but you, uh, but you and will." Then, <laughs> like, like, and, and then, uh, uh, and then, like. This noticeably absent, like, and we know you're gonna have a beer <laughs> right next to you, what in your hand while you're piloting this dangerous vehicle. It is weird how that's not like totally people cool, die bro. all the time on boats, and because of that, and Wait, everybody's for like, yeah, yeah. People die. Well, what happened boats? to have the? Been, have you been to Lake Havasu? Haven't you heard about the? What's the guys with the red hair and and the, the keep murdering their uh, housekeepers and their children and everything? The guy, with the the lawyer in South Carolina or whatever. What's their name? Jason Wiseman. Jason Wiseman. <laughs> Jason Wiseman. <laughs> Little Richard. Yes. <laughs> Little Richard. <laughs> Little Richard. <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking. No one knows what I'm talking about. Oh uh, uh, wait, no. Ta this was the, the story that's like a, happening now. Yeah, it was like yeah, a guy, yeah, a yeah. lawyer who's like nobody wants to touch him because he's like connected in this yeah, small yeah. town. Yeah, but, his, but his son was on a boat. They were all drunk and they hit a thing and a bunch of people died. Yeah. Oh. And then they were like, but you know, we know the judge. We're good. Yeah. And let oh. him go. And that kind. Of, then all these things are now coming out. So uh, just bring uh, just <laughs> just keep going, it light, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I've, known, I've known a friend a friend who got popped on a on a buoy. Oh yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Was boating he actually the on the buoy? Oh no, well, no. He was he was he was boating under the influence. So oh, he BUI got, he got popped behind uh, behind the 
the, the wheel. He got popped, oh, and then yeah. he got locked up. So he did the pop and lock. Pop and lock. Yeah, yeah. Pop but no, but he had, he had yeah. to get thrown into the uh, the, the, the drunk tank. The K-hole. Uh, for Is it underwater? <laughs> yeah. It's an actual tank. <laughs> they know, drunk and tank. Then, put on this put, scuba gear. They push you in, and there are three <laughs> entrepreneurs you have to present. <laughs> yeah. a really good idea. Dude, I'm really hungover. Please, drunk tell shark us your tank. idea. Yeah. No, it can be drunk tank. shark tank. No, they, they put you and the other drunks in a gigantic tank. Tank, and then the mayor's wife chooses one of you to have for dinner. Should we, have yeah. a, should we start a show called Drunk Tank and we just judge people's business ideas while we're plastered? I love it, man. Oh, there's got to there's be like one county where there's the population is so low that they make that a law where it's like in one county in the entire United States, they settle their DUIs. One third of all cases are uh, wait, wait. exonerated. Jomo actually has, he's got the thing. We've got to set up. Drunk tank. Drunk tank. Oh, where we, we get shit faced. And then we, and have we to actually present. have okay. like a thousand dollars each. Oh, <laughs> real money. We actually have a thousand dollars. Real each money. We get fucking yes. shit And we yes. judge business ideas. Or yeah. is it and like, people come yeah. in with their business ideas <laughs> yeah. knowing that we're <laughs> shit faced. Oh, yes. wait. I thought the people presenting had to be shit faced. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're <laughs> drunk. No, because they've got to have the strategy. Like, yeah. They got to know how yeah, to play. They got to take advantage of us. <laughs> <laughs> I think those people will be like, why the fuck am I even here? This is <laughs> and it's like you got to time. <laughs> but you're right with the money. It, then they they got to deal with us assholes. Yeah, yeah. they got to show yeah. up. <laughs> that sounds like a live event. That sounds uh, exactly. Right? That, that sounds sure, fun yeah. for us. Oh. <laughs> and it's like uh, depending on. Uh, uh, by the way, pro tip strategy: have three businesses ready to go. One that speaks to our desire to hug you. <laughs> One that speaks to our desire to punch that ugly fucker in the face <laughs> and one that goes to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I would say if you could come up with a I got a pee based idea too, I'd be interested in oh, that. Because yeah. we're all gonna be sitting there, you know, at that point and they're gonna come up like, do you have to pee? And we're like, oh God, Fuck, you have to yeah. pee. actually yeah. but but you don't want to embarrass the sharks. So you're like, I have a the drunk <clears throat> the drunk <laughs> yeah. the I, drunk I have sharks. a uh, a <laughs> an original looks left, looks right. IP, I would like to share oh. with you. Uh, wrap it up. I got to go. <laughs> do good. Yeah, do good. It's like, yeah. I may be your number two choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is, is it? It should have happened. Sh yeah. Shark Tank or the uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, Harlem Theater that has the guy to push people I off I think stage. that's the Apollo. Yeah. The Apollo, the yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. did you seriously ask? Like, which one of those? <laughs> yeah. I can't guy? remember which show that one's on. <laughs> no, oh, how much better would Shark Tank be? Give <laughs> 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 it up to the Sweeping them off. <laughs> <laughs> the long hook. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, or it's just, it's like looming there, like Chekhov's hook, <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> getting yeah. closer as they're dying. On drunk tag, we're gonna have it. On drunk tag, we're well, gonna have it. There, there can also be if we get too far, we can turn it into Shark Tank, where it's like, yeah, oh, I shit myself, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> shark Tank. <laughs> Wait, actually, you, we should have like a fourth judge that really is a literal shark. Just swim. <laughs> it was like he swam counterclockwise. That's, that's a yes. That's, that's a yes, man. The answer. So yes. <sighs> Let's make it happen. I feel like Drunk Tank has to happen at yeah. our next live show. Uh, I strongly suspect it is happening right now. <laughs> uh, <sighs> we would need to get people... Because I would really like if we collectively had like three or four thousand dollars that were like up for grabs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, people, people would have ideas. Oh, yeah. Like... We could. Be, we could Can we put it on? Is this still a thing? Craigslist? Is that still a thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. because we kind of want we want. Do we want crazies? We oh, want sort of like. Oh wait a minute! What like like like? Don't tell everyone that we're drunk. <laughs> Well, just say, just say, reality show taping. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a business idea, $4,000 oh, grand prize. Yeah, and prize. let them do their preparations. And, and then, then backstage, they find out these guys are plastered. Right. Yeah. Or go. Or, or maybe they don't. Maybe everybody, maybe all of our fans are there and they all know they keep their mouths fucking shut. Yeah. It's, it's a week of stumbling <laughs> out, just faced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Huh. Although I feel like someone would just be like, hey, I'll go buy you more beer <laughs> if you give me for a hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm and like, then good. somebody's going to peel off a hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're like, four thousand dollars and we'll get you a shitload of beer right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Like, 
Let's do it, guys. Let's, let's fucking do it. <laughs> One that word: sharks, ponies. <laughs> no, I feel like like like, but the, this would be better than Shark Tank because like they want like points in the company yeah, and all yeah. that. We're like, we got cash. You get cash. We're gonna give you cash <laughs> if you've got a good idea right now. <laughs> probably, like, how much we are drunk? How much are we willing to give you. away this cash? <laughs> Maybe how much ownership stake do you get? Are we like? Hand me that microphone. This is all I need. All right, let me tell you about this bitch, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I'm in. I'm in. All right. Uh, all right. Sold. Yeah. Uh, Sold. Uh, I'll be your first investor. Here's one dollar <laughs> for drunk tank. For drunk tank. Drunk tank. There you go. Is that you all know, you have left from your wad of cash? Is it wet? <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you have a dollar. Okay. Didn't have one last week. Or the last time we were well, we'll leave that you right. know what? When I'm impressed. Oh, oh, when he was trying to snort. Snort the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you might want to keep yeah. that in case you need to snort some. You might need to Altoids. snort some. My, my view so just to let everybody <laughs> know, <laughs> there's no nose stuff happening. No notion. Okay. Nose, nose stuff happening. Especially this time. since I got uh, I got a stuffed up nose. Schnozzle. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be embarrassing. Like it's mm -hmm. like all you have to do is breathe with your nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just it's oh. like. Yeah. Like, like, try to is, up. You have to breathe only with your nose. Dead. Uh, yeah, my dad. My dad can't do that. Like, uh, uh, I think I think he literally can't just breathe, breathe just his through nose. his nose. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? How did that happen? Um, well, he went to a strip mall. <laughs> there, he's gonna get some kidney. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I actually don't know. I, I got a, you know I, mean? uh, I got, I got, <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, I got, uh, uh, so I got sick. And so I went to go get COVID tested yesterday to make sure it wasn't COVID. Right. And uh, I was, I just sat right next to you. I yeah. hope to God. We kissed twice. I, I know, hope to I know, God I know, but that you get the Delta eight. It's legal oh, now. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought that you were the testing back. I was Delta pulling eight. away emotionally. Yeah. No, I care about you even more than you know. Okay. Uh, so I got a COVID test and the lady, uh, was giving me the swipe and she just goes you have great nasal passages <laughs> yeah apropos of nothing and you're that, like thank that you that exists yeah That's a thing. <laughs> apparently yeah. better than you, uh, you just immediately respond with like mm. you should hear what my proctologist tells me <laughs> 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 why does he think you have I great nasal why. passages? I don't know too? why every joke to me needs to end with a fucking a sitcom theme song, but yeah. I just wanted to get a free spray. Oh, freaks on the China never happened before. Okay. Have a free spray. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's great. Brian. It begins with Brian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da, credits rolling up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think if you guys could get Bryce to do it, maybe can he freeze y'all in frame and come up and then have the cre like have credits? Because uh, that'd be a pretty cool way to end the show. Actually, or or, or, yeah. or just uh, maybe we can make it as a drop on VMix where it's just like uh, whenever we're setting up a, a bit or whatever, we do the thing, the thing, and then the punchline, and we both jump, <laughs> and then he hits a button, and then <laughs> 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 that'd be pretty good. That Add that to the wish list. What's, what's the funniest? Sitcom theme song. Because um, for me, Mr. Belvedere is up there. Uh, funniest. Yeah. I mean, uh, just because it, it's so bombastic. Somebody recently Tokyo asked breakfast. me. <laughs> somebody recently asked me, we were, we were listening to a band and they were doing like some slap bass. And somebody said, is slap bass, what's, is it ever cool? And I said, well, it's only cool in Seinfeld yep. because it's not cool, but you kind of you want to hear it once you know it. You know, right. you're kind of like, oh, that slap bass, though. I read somewhere in the last week or two that all of those, like, like they didn't just play the same thing every time. They had a dude who just did it. No, fresh, just yeah, like, it. Bum, yeah, bum, yeah. Bum, bum, or whatever. So, there, yeah, there were a few things that like like the ending things. But like in the beginning, when he's doing his stand up, that dude, he's like, just accompanying him. Yes. Wow. He scored all of the like. What? Where are we going with all these plates? <laughs> yeah. Like, man, whatever happened to like a uh, sitcom theme songs that went two full minutes explaining the premise? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just two guys. <laughs> they didn't have dads, but now they're dads. 
because they live in the same house. And then suddenly the car could talk. <laughs> Nobody could believe it. <laughs> and then she arrived and everything, everything went changed. crazy. Everything changed. <laughs> anyway, hey, ketamine is great. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes a horse. Yeah. What? They were yeah. all elected mayor together. <laughs> now they're the one mayor talking car horse. The two guys that moved in and their daughter. And now that he's mayor, every decision he makes, he hopes will be the decision that takes him home. <laughs> <laughs> Bring. And, and then the, the DX7 sound. Bring. Yeah. <laughs> Bring, Kevin bring. Is legal, but he doesn't know it. It's <laughs> Bruce Smith. <laughs> uh, Toss salad and scrambled eggs is yeah. pretty good. Oh, That's yeah. pretty good. There was somebody who fucking uh, uh, had a great thing. I, I hope it's real. Of the guy who initially sang the demo for Toss salad and scrambled eggs. And it was supposed to be in like a very like uh, a classic like Mel Torme. I thought it was Kelsey Grammer that did. The it is. Thing. So it, it is. was. Yes. So Kelsey Grammer gets the demo. Oh, and he's and like, oh, sings, I'm gonna have to do like, this. Like, oh, like I feel like <laughs> this needs Kelsey. Certainly <laughs> <laughs> so needs some grammar. And then fucking like, and I don't know what to do with these dogs. I love that scrap on it. All over the place. Yeah. Hey. What's a boy to do? <laughs> Someday I'll play Beast. Uh, and then like, uh, uh, the the interviews with the guy who did the demo, and he's like, yeah. That was a choice. <laughs> He's pissed. He's pissed. Like, uh, do I get paid the same? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, 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 hello, Mission Control. It's me, Margaret. Are you there? Yes, uh, Margaret. Can, um, God here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, God below. How are we looking? We're looking good. If you're if you're ready to come in, you're ready to come in. All right. Ready to Let's up. call it. All right. Okay. Yeah, dude. I, give me oh, that dollar it. back. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Thank you, everybody in the green room and the great room for being green and great. We got a couple of things here to do. First up, a little bit of birthday border action. We didn't have a show last week, so we're going to do two weeks of uh, birthday borners. Uh, that includes our friend Waffleophagus, whose birthday was on the first. Happy birthday, Waffle. Uh, the Lanina and Blue Fronts tattoos were born on the second. Happy birthday to your tattoos. Uh, let's see. Wild Forest Ferret turns 22 on the 12th. Happy birthday. Uh, Bobcat uh, says Blue Front's birthday is on the 6th. Was on the 6th. Happy birthday, Blue Front. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Johnny. Johnny's birthday is on this Sunday, the 14th. Happy birthday. And Spider Bite's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Spider Bite. We've got a, a new segment on the show to, to debut here. Folks, it's time for Critical Race Theory. I'm being joined. Being joined by one Corey Cranfill here. What's up, everybody? How's it going, man? Hey, talking to that a little bit. I don't know why that's not working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Should connect to line two, I believe. Oh, you know what? That might that yeah, that oh flip that switch. Just flip the switch that's there. There you go. Perfect. Come on back now. Uh one more time, Critical Race Theory. Um yeah. Hello. So uh uh we were talk we talked for a brief moment earlier yep. today. And uh, you had mentioned that you missed the, the Formula One race this I weekend. Was, I was. I did. Uh, I was quite busy this weekend doing the family shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And so the wife and me are excited to watch the race, but we haven't seen it yet. And, and it was a good race. There's, there's a few things I would want to talk about, but yeah. uh, if you're okay with me spoiling it. I actually like spoilers a lot. Okay. So I am I am good with spoiling. Uh, well, and I'll say like, uh, a you're gonna be very happy. <laughs> you know the the one the one snippet of something I saw mm. was a picture of a Red Bull, uh, on Twitter, and I immediately closed the app. Okay, so that's all. I saw Red Bull, <laughs> and I was like, well, that's either real good or real bad for me. Mm -mm. So uh, uh, the, the 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 podium. Mm -hmm. Third place was Sergio Perez. Okay. First first That's time for a Mexican racer to podium in at, Mexico. In the Mexico Grand Prix. That's great. Oh, I uh, bet the fans were going crazy. 
<laughs> they were going crazy, and his dad was there, and all of, it was it was a, it was a huge. Yeah. Um, you've seen you see have you seen that you've seen the track right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right where they've got the podium they've got that huge grandstand that used to be a baseball stadium. Yep. So they drive through through the middle of the grandstands. Yeah, yeah. the middle of these huge huge rafters. Um, uh, okay, so that was third place. Second place, Lewis Hamilton. Okay. Mercedes. Okay. Uh, and first place, Max Verstappen. Yeah, yeah baby. Um, it was very. It, it was a very strange race because all of the action happens in the very first lap. <laughs> so it was, a, so it was <laughs> a Formula One race, is what you're telling me. It, it was. It was like that, and then it was very much like the Austin race, where it was a lot of trying to catch up. Yeah. Well, kind of maybe at the end. Trying to do the overtakes and the, the pit um, strategies. But the the big um, kind of the the big uh, hmm, not loss, but so Valtteri Bottas mm-hmm. ha- got pole position okay. on Saturday, uh, and in the first lap he uh, gets bumped by Ricardo going into that first turn. He gets bumped by Ricardo, spun out, okay. and he ends up back in like fifteenth place, yeah. uh, and just is never able never to get yet. out of there. Yep. Uh, he had a, he ended up having a bad stop. Uh, a bad pit stop, a slow yeah. pit stop. So he he was never really able to get that's, in front of. That's my her. complaint. If I can complain about Valtteri, yeah, I think he's a fine second uh, banana, mm. but he he never has the ability to. If something happens to him, he never has the ability to make up places very well. Yeah. Versus like Verstappen and uh, Hamilton mm-hmm. and Alonso before you started watching, like th- they are. You can tell they are in a crappier car than someone else, and they will pass more people than they should yeah and Valtteri never seems to be that way where if he's stuck in the back mm-hmm. uh, he just can't seem to get past people like he would want he he had that slow pit a little late in the race and so he kept dealing with traffic and then he was stuck behind Ricardo for a lot of for, for the rest of the mm-hmm. race um but yeah it was I think the for I think the thing that I didn't like saying so also in that first turn uh Yuki Tsunoda mm-hmm. for the Alpha Tauri team uh ended up having to retire because it's every it was like three up it was like three deep yeah. the going into it and uh he and um uh, uh Mick Schumacher yeah. they both end up like was, we, it, wheels interlocked and then running over Esteban Ocon's wheels and having to retire as well so you're saying he was the lucky Pierre in that one or the unlucky Pierre is that a- it was the I guess the unlucky Pierre Pierre okay. actually had a good a good Pierre race Gasly. Pierre yeah. ended up in fifth yeah uh it was somebody, somebody just said something about Pierre. Who was that? Uh, uh, Gasly did a solid race Tom. and uh, only had five seconds of screen time since a major Tom. Yeah. But and yes, I mean he did very very well, but he was never in traffic. Like oh, yeah. once he kind of got into a place, it's not like he was fighting for fourth or mm-hmm. defending mm-hmm. anything. And I think and and so it was a lot of the like can Hamilton catch up? Yeah. Um, and he wasn't really able. Well, what was Norris and all this? Um. He he got an engine penalty. Okay, so he, he took an engine penalty. Yeah. So he started in the back. He ended up in tenth. Okay, well, um, it's going to points. Good, yeah. yeah, a point's not bad, but um, it, it it it's uh, it was very it was it was it reminded me a lot of the Austin race. Yeah, a, a very much just like can we close the gap? Yeah, I'm so excited for 2022. Yeah, in the new car designs. Did you watch that video I sent you? Uh, not God. yet, not yet. Sorry, I have, but I have been seeing a lot of um. Uh, a lot of of stuff about the new cars and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, hey Brian, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, glad to see you again. Um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's very strange. This was very much a racetrack that everyone was saying Red Bull has the advantage on. Yeah. But I believe technically the la- the next few races are some Mercedes advantage yep. courses. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll kind of see. Because uh, Red Bull's really getting a lot of those Honda engines, and then with Gasly really firmly in fifth, um, even even AlphaTauri is really competitive. That's that's why it was a shame to see Yuki drop out because Yuki also had an engine penalty, but was doing all right in in practice and quali. Um, I would like to see him be able to finish the race because I think he's got skills. Yes, yes. If he does, if he can put it all together, he he has these little spurts of being super fast and then super wrecky. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. To change to change uh, notes right quick. Yeah, that's what. Okay. What happened to your quarterback? Oh, your uh, quarterback was you like know. the second coming of uh, <laughs> Joe Montana or whatever, and then now 
not so much. I, uh, so I, I didn't. I missed the Chargers game yep. due to I, I was have I was I was having some some friend stuff and mm -hmm. so I couldn't couldn't catch it. Um, so all I, I I really don't know how that game went. I just know that we won. Yeah, but not but the last not handful like of games great. have been a little a little sketch. They've been a little dicey and. Um, I, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, um, you know, I wish uh, uh, I wish I, I knew a little whether it's just they're going up against really strong defenses or maybe they're getting used to his play style. Um, uh, but I think he's got a, I think he's got potential, which oh, is I think oh, what they're sure. they're for sure. I was really just wanting on. to give you a hard time. Oh that's no, really, <laughs> that's really what I was wanting to do. Yes, uh, and, and it looks like we got a couple Formula One fans in the audience. That's oh yeah, Business Jim says I wish F1 was somehow done live. Via the do Netflix documentary, yeah, yeah. it's it's um, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's very difficult to do a show like that live. It's just not possible. So much of it is just like them being lucky with who they're following yeah. any given week. Yeah, for sure. Um, Brian asked, "Who's Bryce's team?" So I I am a LA Chargers fan. Chargers charge. Go Justin. Yeah, they do. Um, what's your team? You know, I'm I'm kind of weird with sports. Yeah. Where I don't really have a particular team. Mm. I just like to play all see, sides. Yeah, I like to see domination. So it, whoever's dominating this year, I'll follow. Justin, do you have a football team? I, I root for the, I root for the Steelers. Steelers, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last night. Nice. On a win streak. Win streak, very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Although uh, our quarterback moves like uh, Carl Havoc from I think you should leave. <laughs> uh, just Ben Roethlisberger's. Favorite plays. I got too much shit on me. Mm. Uh, but other than that, we keep winning, and that's really nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Sports quarter. Sports corner. Yeah. We're doing criti yes. a critical race theory turned into sports corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a little bit there. So. Um, yeah. Well. Um, Chargers sucked for a little while. Yeah. That's what the we fuck's up with that. that? Yeah. They did. They did not have a very. They had a good game on Sunday. Though. They won. Not a resounding win. They've had. Sit here. I gotta get up and talk for. <laughs> I guess we all got fucking jobs. I know. Uh, yeah, they. It was not a resounding uh, win, but a win is a, a win. A good road win. A good road win, indeed. A yeah. Good road win. For for me, like Philly's tough. Yeah. I'm just doing actual sports radio. Now we're just yeah. Now we're just doing, doing sports real radio. sports radio. What do you think about that, Aaron Rodgers? Huh? <sighs> very dumb. It seems like a very dumb, unnecessary thing. I guess he he's been trying to walk it back a little bit today. Yeah. But. Um, he did it wearing a Rise of Skywalker hoodie, <laughs> which I thought as a troll was fucking... For whatever I disagree with him on vaccinations, I agreed with him in just being a shithead and wearing a Rise of Skywalker hoodie. Do you think it was an ironic 100%. choice? 100%. <laughs> maybe he really One likes Ray. One bullshit. Yeah. Ray Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. He's a big Ray Skywalker. Ray Star Wars. <laughs> What's your last name? Star, Star Wars. Wars. Uh... uh no, I think 100. percent That was a that was that was you know a little tongue in cheek. He's he's kind of known for for being very pop culture savvy. I see. Uh, but I don't know why. I mean, like I don't know. Part of me's like, why do we give a fuck about whether or not Aaron Rodgers? Unless you're betting, like, I guess as a sports topic, mm -hmm. I get it. If it's like right. quarterback is out for a novel reason, right. let's discuss whether or not. You know, it was good it, or bad right, yeah. for him to do a thing, right? Mm -hmm. But like for everybody else is like, oh, he's like damaging the vaccine effort. It's like if that's yeah. what the vaccine effort hinges on is Aaron Rodgers talking <laughs> to Joe Rogan, then we're fucked. Right. Like there's a certain amount of like think of the kids going on that is a little I I I know Aaron Rodgers' name, so I'm sure he's got some influence, but I feel like there are very few uh, football uh, players who singularly have so much influence that something like this is yeah. damaging the children's uh, I perception guess that's, of, of I vaccines. guess that's that's my thing. It's also it's like look, we're doing well on the vaccines. Vaccines, we're we're we're, we're doing pretty good on it. Like uh, uh, I just don't think we need to like act like every dipshit jock having an opinion about something that we don't agree with is is the end of the world, mm. right? I did think it was very funny that he wanted to pass off his homeopathic whatever thing he got as uh, a actual vaccine. I thought that was pretty funny. It's, oh, no. Like, if we want to break down how goofy <laughs> fucking athletes are about, like, random Rules. shit, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, but that's, like, that's, like, well-known. Like, they're all into the fucking kinesic tape and fucking sure. cupping Creatine. therapies and yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean, at least creatine's like oh, a, creatine thing, a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, creatine's a chemical compound that can make you build muscle mass. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of random shit that fucking these guys do because th their job is is fucking well, getting that stuff. Uh, oh. uh, all right, here we go. Here we now, we got one Brian Brushwood. Hello. Uh, I, I mean, for what it's worth, I mean, it makes sense. Like, think about, uh, 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 for example, batters. Uh, it's like... Whatever you did the last time you hit a home run, you're going to do the same thing. And that's why you get all these these almost OCD rituals of like yep. retying yep. your shoes a million times and all that stuff. Sure. I'm sure it's the same thing. Just try a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Just exactly. Try a bunch of like that, but oils. with ivermectin. All, all right. right. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Brian, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here. Can you? Yeah. And Brett, this is for you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the Green Room, Great Room pre-show whole thing that we're doing we need to figure it out oh hi bro oh. I'm, I'm just sticking my head in no that's it okay I just thought i'd be weird <laughs> uh we are gonna get started with the great night uh program here in just a moment um uh so everybody make sure you settle in get uh, a drink get uh we'll go walk the dog make sure you, you you brush your hair make sure you brush your hair everybody and um yes hello Righty. <laughs> All righty, let's do some checks. Uh, Brian, are you good? Yeah. Justin, are you good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brett, are you good? Hello. One more time. Hello. Ah, there he is. Hello. Hello. Uh, Corey, you good? Yep. Yeah. Annalisa? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Joma, feeling it? Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> then I'm going to click a few more buttons. Where's my drum roll? Where where's that drum roll? There it is. Okay. Then let's start the show. <laughs> 